older children doing five courses. So that my child Ethan can engage in bike ability so that he can be more confident and I can feel more secure knowing that he can ride around the streets of Milton Keynes and know how to be aware of his surroundings. Uh, we're here because there's an activity like bike ability which I find very nice activity, very pleasant. It gives the children confidence. Um, see other kids how they do compete competition which is it uh, triggers this element of enthusiasm excitement my son already likes uh, you know biking so why not you know he's his he's hobby you know in terms of looking at it but why not compete in it and see where he stands i must say i'm very impressed of the layout um, it's well organized and the children are well behaved. I'm also here to support my son and also to see um, how best he's um, doing, especially with his mobility, because he has additional needs. I think it's a really good activity, especially for the kids. They, after all the COVID, and especially after all this lockdown, they stimulate to go outside and to do uh, outdoors activity. Um, it's really good actually, it's, um, it is very exciting, it's um, very well organised, um, I like the venue um, and all the challenges. Um, my son is he, he is a cycler um, but he's never done anything like this so um, when this did come up um, he jumped for it basically, he just saw it as a challenge and he's quite competitive anyway. He did say to me as he went in that um, he's definitely going to win. He's been looking forward to this particular um, activity for the past one year, I mean sorry, for the past one week he's been preparing and he's even been um, practicing at home. So I'm really proud of him to be here and I believe he will be here again next year if activities do continue next year. So I think it's something that should be implemented continuously because it's really really good for our children to learn how to be more uh, confident in their riding skills and being able to commute to and from school and to activities and friends' homes. This event has been going really good. You know, I see a lot of kids actually enjoying the event. My son, you know, trying to compete with, with people. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a great fun event so far. Yeah. So it, for me, it was a little bit of excitement. It can, it helped me to understand what is it, how is it, and how we can support our children to exercise maybe more the points they to uh, focus on. I can feel secure knowing that my child knows how to do the bike checks before he leaves home or leaves school. Also knowing that he's confident and comfortable with riding on the roads. That, as a parent, is comforting for me. Because, like I said, my child has additional needs, so it's a bit of um, mobility. So for me to see him ride a bicycle and do most of the different races available is um, it's really exciting for me to know that he has developed in such a scale um, because if it was out of the activity I don't think he would have pushed himself to do it so I believe because he's seen it as a competition so that has pushed him to do more and I'm proud of him me feeling more confident with him on a bike as well and doing a lot more riding but this event definitely give kids those feeling of you know what the competitiveness is Building, building on those skills and it, it's going to impact as a family as well as well as MK. You know, I would love to see someone actually going in, in Olympics doing bike yeah, from Milton Keynes. Why not? I think it's fantastic. I think it's great that young people are learning. I mean, the skills that they're learning here. They all did bike ability training at school anyway. Um, but there are several events on today. They're doing obstacle courses. They've been out on the roads doing road safety. Um, they've been looking at bikes and identifying issues with bikes. So it helps them with bike maintenance, how to fix a puncture, how to you know put a chain back on and that sort of stuff so they can maintain their own bicycles. Um, and it's been a great way, way for kids from all different schools to meet each other and share their common interest in bike riding. So at Milton Keynes Council we are working really, really hard with our local primary and secondary schools to try and encourage active forms of transport rather than, you know, parents driving kids to school for the pick up and drop off. 
Um, so that obviously includes walking, but it obviously includes cycling as well. Um, and there are several reasons for this. It's much better for children's health, um, both physical and mental. It's been proven that you know staying active and exercise is good for the health of the child and the welfare of the child. Um, it also means that areas around the schools don't get so congested. Um, that can actually become a bit of a road safety issue in Milton Keynes in some areas. When roads get congested at pick up and drop off time. So it's really, really important that we do move young people and their families to active modes of transport. As well as that, of course, it's good for the environment. This is the first year that this kind of event has happened um, and parents were free to register their own children this year. Next year, I hope that we can build on this and make it bigger and better. Um, I'm hoping that there'll be some good PR coming out of this event so people will see it and be like, oh, that's something I want to be involved in next year. We are helping with the Bikeability Olympics, which is a fantastic event for local children to get on their bikes, learn about safety, learn about sustainability and get mobile. It is there's a real buzz uh, and it's fantastic to see everybody out in the sunshine, enjoying the weather, enjoying getting on their bikes uh, and learning a little bit about mobility and uh, sustainable transport. It's a fantastic way to get the children out on their bikes in the fresh air, raise awareness. Uh, Network Rail has a fantastic volunteering programme for its staff. Uh, so I think Network Rail could uh, really help play a part in getting Milton Keynes more active and encouraging our staff to get more active as well. Well obviously I'm, I'm all for sustainable modes of transport and, and the railway is one of the most sustainable ways that you can get around, as is cycling. So anything that we can do to support that, I'm all for that. I've been supporting the road ride. Um, we took uh, five riders out into Loughton um, and we were assessing their performance in terms of the skills that they need to ride on the road. So we were checking how well they looked around, uh, if they communicated properly, positioned themselves appropriately and understood uh, the rules of the road basically. Uh, and we had great rides, uh, they did really well over a two mile course. Uh, um, absolutely fantastic. Uh, it was great to be part of it. Absolutely brilliant concept. Um, what's really important um, is that when children have done bikeability, that they've got an opportunity to carry on using those skills. We try and infuse them to want to cycle, and this Bikeability Olympics has given them an opportunity to do more with their bikes. So, absolutely fantastic event. Um, I really hope that it continues for year other places in the country adopt this kind of format too. It's been really fun. Thank you.